it was time to get a little bit more out of my ECU, so I went from the ProFlow 4 to the Holly Terminator X Max. I'm going to tell you what I liked about the ProFlow 4, but I'm going to tell you what I like even more about the Terminator X Max. So, here we go. started out of course started out carbureted because that's what the 351 on the crown vic was uh i got it actually had a police crown vic so it came with the 58 351 windsor uh had the carburetor then i upgraded to the edelbrock pro flow 4 system which is a really really good system for sure uh and then now i had to switch over to holly uh and go with the terminator x now, as far as the systems working, they both work. Uh, the Edelbrock, when I first used it, it was actually the first time cranking up the motor after we finished it. So, you know, if you haven't seen the build, go watch the build. But first time cranking up the motor after we finished it, uh, probably about 15, 20 seconds into, into it, it started running like a champ. Putting the system in was easy. I liked, I initially got the ProFlow 4 because of the um, the fact that it came with the distributor that it needed, it came with the uh, intake that it needed, it came with all the sensors, it basically just came with everything. So uh, that's why I got that system. Then once I really started racing, you know, I, I built the motor, it was something to do. At first, I really wasn't like saying, hey, I'm gonna get super serious in the race in this car. Then, of course, once I raced it and realized, you know what, I actually like it, that's when it was kind of go time. Hey, let's go ahead and get this thing together. So I ended up uh, going with the Holly, mainly because I wanted to be able to data log, but also because I wanted more control, which is much better if you have an engine like mine you got boost, you need boost control, and you wanna be able to control all those different things. Uh, but mainly for me, it was data logging, being able to see what just happened on the run that I just made. Or like, you know, if I was half a second faster, what did I change from A to B to make this happen? Or what happened on this run that didn't happen on that run? That's something that it just did not have with the ProFlow 4. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, the software to let you see exactly what I'm talking about. So here I'm basically going to show you uh, the Terminator X software and this would be pretty much the one of the main reasons everything that's in here is some of the main reasons that I switched from the ProFlow 4. So uh, I'm just going to use one of the uh, generic uh, global files, but uh, just up here, fuel trim, you know, uh, different sensors. You can see all the sensors like your map sensor, uh, temperature, oil pressure, fuel pressure, things like that. So sensors that the other one had, uh, the system parameters setting everything up. Now you can run it a little bit different on this on uh, on the Holly than you can on the ProFlow 4. ProFlow 4 basically um, kind of gave you one way to do it but everything came in the pack that's actually why it was pretty good you know uh, again just check out that video that I had uh, that I made that shows you one everything that came in the package I did an unpackaging video of the ProFlow 4 and then I also did a um, video of the software that you use. So take a look at both of those. But you'll see the software on this one, uh, you know, system parameters. So you can basically tell it what, how you're trying to run it, you know, what injectors you got, what's your injection strategy, all kind of information that basically you can do. But this one, if you look here, it still has learn, like the learning system. <laughs> So the um, ProFlow 4 had to learn, and it was actually very good. Uh, as long as you put in your information correctly, it would basically, I mean, it was 
I want to say the first time I tried to crank it up uh, where I had everything right I mean it cranked probably about 20 seconds it seemed like it was trying to figure it out and then after that I didn't have any problems with it at all right so that learn system was uh, very very good on that one I, I don't have anything bad to say about that at all but you know once you get into you know your idle and, t and spark so fuel idle timing all that stuff is pretty much it was there right where we start to differentiate for this system the Terminator X especially Terminator X Max is things like this like your transmission you got transmission control where you're controlling your shift patterns uh, and I haven't even gotten into it yet because I don't have a, an electronic transmission but being able to tell it where to shift based on speed man that's pretty cool uh, you got line pressures things like that uh, then if you go up here uh, let me add this other ICF for boost now you see the little turbocharger popped up but you got a boost ICF where it ha talks about your dome control setup so basically uh, you can do boost versus speed boost versus time like it's giving you all these different options of how you can control the stuff that's going on in your motor it's pretty cool and I'm not going you know labor on like all the individual parts of it but just know that this system uh, the terminator system is actually very intuitive you can get lost in it you can get lost in it so you know it's not something you just want to go around playing in and not not uh, taking the time to try to figure it out but at the same time if you do figure it out you can you can dial in your motor and everything dial in your transmission too you can dial in all your stuff with no problems at all uh, and then even let me see what's another I think it's one more for sure fuel idle sensor nitrous idle drive by wires right there boost advanced that's what I want to do see it even gives you a warning telling you this advanced is advanced so don't go messing around in here but advanced tables that you can build so I'm just open up 1d so like here you can do an advanced table table type uh, let's do time and offset you know you can change your x-axis so basically tell it when it's going when it's supposed to work so uh, I think on one of mine I got this I did this for the uh, did I do this for boost I don't know but it's a bunch of stuff you can do with this like say if you want to do your uh, launch control here you can do your launch control and you can tell it only to work when you hit a button or something so like say if you got a two-step you could you could end up doing you know different things with your uh, two-step through these tables advanced tables I mean that's pretty cool you got uh, your pins so it's telling you basically these inputs. Now with the Terminator, you only get four inputs unless you buy the extra piece there. Four inputs, four outputs. Uh, and then there are other ways where you can get more inputs and outputs. Like I say, they have a, actually they have an input output uh, adapter now that they just started selling that you can help you add some. But you can also get inputs through uh, like the, um, the uh, Pro Dash. So that's, that's one way you can get inputs too. But adding inputs and outputs for different things, uh, I mean, even as small, you know, some of the built-in inputs are like the uh, temperature input or the oil pressure input. But you can do input like your dome pressure. So dome pressure can be one of your inputs, basically putting the information into the system so it does something with it and then it'll kick it back out through one of the outputs. So it's pretty cool there as well. Now I will say, it has a lot of um, you know a lot of a lot of extras on top of how you can tune and all that kind of stuff as a matter of fact let me show you the so like the fuel basic fuel uh, like the fuel table right so you can see the fuel table based on your map and engine RPM and then you can change all throughout this here right 
And then in your fuel table, as you drive, you get a learn table. So it starts to populate in different areas to tell you, hey, you know, it's lean here, it's rich here, you know, you don't have anything going on here. So a lot of control that you could do, and then you end up just transferring the transferring the learn table to your base fuel table in order to try to figure out how to get this all smooth and working the way you want it to work. Same thing with the timing. You got a timing table based on your map and your engine RPM. You can change your timing. So if you want, like say here at, you know, uh, pretty much right here in zero, uh, zero vacuum, zero boost, you can change it in this area to, to get it to do whatever you want to for the timing. That's pretty cool. It's a lot of control in that, right? Now, the main, very, very main reason that I ended up going to the Terminator X system was because of this. I don't know why, but with the uh, ProFlow 4 system, they do not have any type of data logging, right? So like this one here, this Texas, this uh, Texas Whip Fest, and this was my first shakedown, right? So the data log on this is basically just a bunch of information that I got from running my car on that one pass. So like kind of in this area here, this is probably this is where I was burning out, and then oh, I don't want to do that. I want to go back, but that's where I was burning out, and then more than likely the run started over here somewhere so i got all this information fuel pressure current learn afr versus target fr to uh, uh throttle position sensor rpm boost battery you know because i had that battery issue so like really how i figured out i had the battery issue wasn't just because the car was dying uh or wasn't initially because it was dying, it's because, you know, I kind of had a little and I'm thinking, man, why is it doing that? Well, my spark wasn't getting full full power, so it wasn't shooting off, you know, to the spark plugs like it should have, which means I was getting a little bit of misfire. So then I came here and was like, oh man, look at that. My battery, uh, I'm running down the track at, you know, 10 uh, volts, 11 volts, 11 and a half volts. Which I know when the car is running, it's supposed to be, you know, up 14, 13, 13, 5, somewhere up in there. So it's, it's a good way for you to get information after a run uh, or just on a regular drive, you know, just make sure stuff is good. But with the ProFlow 4, the only type of data logging I had was to uh, use the app on my phone and then... Um, still my uh, screen or um, same thing I'm doing here with the computer basically uh, video in the screen as it ran which didn't give me any real graphs or anything like that and any real-time numbers like this does over here and then also what I like about this I mean it's customizable you know different if you got a drag race and you want to put over there you can even edit what you see it's a lot of information I don't care what anybody tells you, but information is the best thing that you can have. If you know, then you good. Even if you decide not to fix it, decide not to change it, at least you know. And I'm one of those those kind of people I definitely like to know. I want to know everything. That way I can make a good decision, right? But this was the main, absolute main reason that I decided to go with the uh, Holly system. Because I, I could have, you know, took some long time and even though it was very limited, it didn't have tables like this, it was more so, uh, you know, simple version is what the ProFlow 4 had. But I'm telling you, even with the ProFlow 4, when it ran and it did the learn and you let it, you know, update the learn information, man, that thing was running. Like I never really had any problems with it. And I haven't had any problems with the Holly system as far as uh, picking and choosing anything either. It's just a little bit more of a learning curve to figure out how to control and uh, how to make all of this 
line up the way you want to to where it's smooth and things like that so you end up getting a graph that you know looks all nice and neat you know what i mean but this this system is pretty good i'm still learning it you know i haven't mastered it at all but at the same time uh, i definitely can appreciate all the different things that it has available so you know still got the spark still got timing idle all that still comes with the sensors um but it just gives you so much more and then they have a whole bunch of add-ons too so like i said the additional inputs or the uh the digital dash that goes into it i think the proflow 4 has a couple of um digital dashes that it will work with but they're not necessarily edelbrock products so they don't um they don't give you all the same information as the system that you're using which is what makes this pretty cool because it's almost like when you get a pro dash it's almost like you're looking at this but just in number form and it's on your dash just like the little 3.5 inch handheld that comes with it so real good system um like i said this wasn't going to be a video where i teach you how to use it because it's a lot you know it's just a whole lot of different things that you really have to do in order to uh to understand what's but going on if you are looking for a system to where your car runs clean gets decent gas mileage you know you got a little bit of ability to see what's going on with your car the proflow 4 is not a bad option but if you definitely like to be in super control and be able to see what's going on or if you think you're going to be upgrading later Go ahead and get that Holly Terminator because it, it definitely is uh, a real good system. Like, subscribe, share, comment, check me out on Instagram, TikTok, you know, connect with your boy. Hopefully very soon I'll be able to hit a few different shows and maybe I'll see some of y'all out there. Until then, holla at y'all.